Okay, welcome to this short video for YouTube about selling the camper van on eBay. Uh, it's a Lunar Champ A531. It's about six and a half metres long with the bike rack up like that and about three metres high at the top point where the sleeping cabin is. Um, it's 2008, it's done 33,000 miles round about. We bought it at 28,000 miles. Um, we're just staying in France at the moment. It needs a clean. We're staying in France at the moment in a little cottage that you can see. And uh, the reason why we're putting this on eBay now is because we've got about one month until we return and we want a quick sale. Um, I'll just show you the outside of it. Uh, it's got lights up there. All the windows have got fly screens and also blackouts. Uh, they're the vents for the fridge. Um, it's got brand new camping tyres on it, uh, which are Pirelli's. We've only put them on three days ago. Um, since we've got young children, age two and six, we don't take any chance with any of this just show you the tread of them they are literally about three days old we also put a brand new battery in the car uh, for the front because it's uh, three years old and we replaced that yesterday so we've always taken good care of it because you know we've got children and we want to stay safe um, so this is the other side here where it's got a, a door that opens up for storage like so there's a bunk bed and inside the van when we're traveling, we just put that up like that and it clips and this is all massive storage area. We put the kids' push bikes in here, everything. Also, this camper van comes with everything that we've got. We've got tables, chairs, we've got plates, knives and forks, blankets, towels, quilts, everything that you'd need, power converters, everything. So it runs on LPG there and that's your electricity power point just there. Um, as I said, we've had it for three or four months now and we need to offload it because we're going traveling through Asia for another five months. We're traveling for one year. So this is the outside of the vehicle. Um, it's probably better to do it this way rather than only 10 photos that can handle on eBay. So this is it here. Um, come around here and we go into the vehicle. There's a door, these screens. Rightio, so it also comes with a GPS. Uh, because we just need to get rid of everything because we're traveling light um, There's a bunk bed up there where us all the children sleep here It's definitely big enough for all of us and that's all in there massive space uh, I'm six foot one six foot two and I can sleep in there. No problems at all It's got a step ladder that comes down fly screens got these mood lights There and that's it. It's got curtains that draw across and also, if you've got children, it's got a safety thing that comes up. I'll show you on the other bunk. So there's plenty of storage room in here for four. As I said, we've been travelling for three or four months in it. That's a power display unit. That's all there, all working, showing things like the water. Um, this is a battery auxiliary. Uh, need to fill up with water. This is a heating system here, which is a Trauma Traumatic C. Very good system. We started camping, as I said, three or four months ago. It keeps us all warm. The vents are located variously around the place. Uh, this Trauma C unit also runs off the electricity, but it also runs off the uh, camping gas as well. Um, the actual gas that we got, the Calor gas, runs off that as well. There's a switch there that does it. But all these cupboards open up plenty of space. Um, as I said, there's four of us, two adults and two children. It's also got a TV bracket that we don't use. But it comes out here that you can put your TV on that. Um, up in the back there, there's a 12 volt supply and also an aerial input for it. Um, but we don't use it. Uh, sorry about the mess, but we're still using the van. So we're going tomorrow, we're going to the Cinque Terre. So uh, it's a good opportunity for us to do this while it's empty a bit. Top bunk there, bottom bunk there, step ladder, get up. This is the table over here. Very good, we put some hooks up and those kind of things, which is very handy. You can see all the mood lighting. There's more than enough storage along this. I'll just show you the cupboards here. Uh, once again, because we've got a young family, we have everything we need. Fire extinguishers, fire blankets, smoke alarm, carbon dioxide monitors. Um, yeah, as I said, like anyone, the children's are very precious. So this is a three hob uh, stove, which works very well indeed. And we cook a lot of meals on that. And there's a sink as well here. Uh, we just do that to conserve water. It has an oven with a rotisserie in it Down here and also it's got a Thetford N112 This refrigerator is only three months old and cost me a thousand euros. The other one uh, When we bought it didn't work being absorption fridges It was left idle for too long and it had to be replaced. So we've got all the receipts for those kind of things um, Like most campuses got vents that go up with 
fly screens and shutters. This vehicle, uh, we find that if we shut everything down and close the curtains on it, it's beautiful. The kids can sleep no problems and they normally wake up about 9.30. So you can imagine how happy we are. You know, the light switches, everything's very good on it. Light switches all work and it's got outside lights. And so that's basically it. All the cupboards there. It's got driving, as I said, it comes with everything. Not everything's here at the moment because it's inside in the in the little farmhouse that we're staying at, but it's got everything you need to camp. So it's got a big cupboard in here that we basically use for all our shoes and storage and coat hangers and towels. And this down here is a trauma C unit, the heating unit. Um, I've just flushed all the tanks. This is the bathroom and shower uh, there. And you can see that there, everything's top notch. It's 2008, so it's very good indeed. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what else to say about it, except that anything that needed fixing on it, we always had it fixed. Uh, the only problem is, well, it's not a problem, is that there's a small crack just here. Um, that happened because when we got out the car once we were in driving, one of the jars fell down and crushed that. Um, so I've just super glued that just as a sure fix. But besides that, it's a very good camper. It's um, proven its worth. We've traveled uh, four or 5,000 miles in it now and without a problem. But if we did have to replace the tires, we did. You know, we've got children and they're the most important thing to us. So I hope you enjoyed looking at the camper van here. And um, yeah, just with the seats, they've got these captain chairs. Very, very comfortable for driving that go up and down. And yeah, it's a five speed. This is a very good um, five speed shift here. Uh, lots of the transits have them here and takes away from all the access in and out. And curtains come across on this railing system just here to totally block out the sun. And I was just gonna show you, this is the same as that top bunk there. If you've got children, these things come up so your children can't come out of the bed, which is a really good idea especially if they're young. As I said, ours are two years old and five years old. So really, 2008, 33,000 miles or thereabouts, 34, no, 33. And then, yeah, everything that got replaced, got a brand new fridge that's still under warranty. We've only had that for about two months, three months, if that. It's got brand new camping car tires in it. They cost me a thousand euros to put on. The car's been serviced and oil changed last week for another 300 euros. So look, because we're traveling in it and we're still traveling in it for another month before we get back to the UK, where we're gonna sell it, is that we've just had to do the things to make it um, work and be safe for our children. It's a lot cheaper for us than hiring a hotel room for the last four months. So yeah, so if you're interested, please contact to you Contact me via email. Uh, email is elliaver52 at gmail.com. That's E L L I E A V A 52 at gmail.com. And I'm just going to come to the front of the vehicle because there's a fence here, but hopefully you can see the front of it. There it is, Fiat Jakarta. It's got a Lunar Champ. And look, overall, it's a very good vehicle. One other thing that is wrong with it, because I want to be upfront and honest because I want it's a, it's a very good price but you know we expect it to be done is this windows mirror's got a crack in it that you may or may not see um, a French guy around the corner actually went past us in his car and clipped it with his mirror outside lights water supply there cassette toilet here um, yeah everything's works got the nice bike rack also comes with some actual push bikes as well uh, two of them uh, as you can see there, you've got the ramps there. It comes with everything that you need to start camping with. As I said, knives, forks, plates, quilts, sheets, uh, power converters from 12 to 2.30 if you need them for your computers. Um, it's just got everything. Um, you know, there's nothing missing. It's got table and chairs in it. Um, you know, the table was about 180 euros you bought. It's an adjustable one. It does need a clean, but we're traveling, so we'll clean it when we get back. And yeah, so we hope you enjoy the Lunar Camper. And yeah, if you need to contact me, please do. Thank you very much for watching.